finding and I'm trying to explain to what I know. It's very hard. I, I'm on Genesis 1-1. One, one. I have to write down. I have to write that for 1-1. One, one. Half. Is in, in Genesis 1-1. One, one. First word. It's got everything. It's the whole journey in one word. The rest of the script is all expression of one word. Beginning. Mm. Everything is packed in the one word. So, you know, it, it, it's kind of like, if you could break down the one word, one word, you'd know that you're in a journey. This is how you're in a journey. And it tells you the circle. Explains the snake, explains the circle. And what word is that? Bear sheet? Beginning, bottom sheet. Yeah. And it shows you, like I can show you, well, I'll, I'll just write it, but I just, I got my back is killing me. But it's, uh, yeah, that'd probably be a good one to do, for you to do after you can go through the whole journey of Rashid. Because in the very first, word it's Roche but the bet and the top are added suffix and prefix because it's just Roche so yeah that was the first word I think I even broke down yeah but you can only see from your perspective right but it, mm. but yeah but so, I remember I saw everything I mean you guys told me that there's mother there's father there's daughter there's queen there's everything in there yeah everything's in there it's a full-on but now you gotta express it in a way that people can comprehend that it's all frequency. But not making it not personal. You just have to realize that family is only the expression of representation. That's it. We've been given the representation of family to see potentials or how it could break down. So we're living in the representation of everything that is around us is in the in the template of family mm -hmm. that is the template mm -hmm. so there's everything yeah family is everything in broken down into four four quadrants son daughter mother father that's it there's your square doesn't need to go anything there's nothing else outside of that that's it quadrated pardon me that's the quadrated uh, fully quadrated will be yeah would be comprehending the square the base the base of the triangle would be square regardless of it's eight or not and it's just fractals but yet the base has four corners so it doesn't matter if it's got a bent fractal to make it eight sided it still has four corners and I believe that the twins of becoming are the reason it's eight sided is because the process of completion is compounding by nature. So the eight sides represent a completed template of intention. So the eight sides would be through the process of realization because I, I believe I can see it because bet to tov and better sheep is bet to tov twenty two. So right in the template of better sheep you have the separation of the 22 through the bet 2. So it's the two 22s, right in better sheep. And then it morphs out from that, Yeah. right? Because the journey is, the first word is bar, which bar in Hebrew is sun. So this is, remember, it's only frequency if we just keep it in the perspective of intention. So it's frequency of the bar. The sun is to journey through the the word that we would call daughter, bet top, 22. Those are the instructions. The template is already given, right, through the instructions of becoming. Remember, you, what are you becoming? You're becoming the temple of light. And so what do you do when you complete it? You then circle right up, because the, the sun is really following the tail. So just think on 
Ouroboros here. So the sun's journey is to follow the tail, which is in frequency to find the head. So the sun, bar, that resh, by word definition, follow the daughter, because this is the apple of the eye. That's mm -hmm. what she's defined as. And she is through the process of bet tov, because that's how you spell daughter, bot. But it's also the measure. It's also the exact same word means the measure. This is the measure of intention. So then when you find daughter through the process of 22 following the tail, you now close the loop again because you go back to the first word, bar, but it's now established as, in, in another language, you can see it as bar, the built resh head. So through the journey, you've now built the head. How did you do it? Through rashit, through the pieces, because bar sheet is the separation of the bet. In between, between the pieces of the Bet Tav is the transactional language of transformation. Rashid breaks down to principality and power. You establish right from that word the principality and power through the intention of the template in the beginning. It's not in the beginning, it means begin. There's no in the, it's begin the journey. Here's what it's going to be. Right from the get-go, I give you blueprint, in, uh, instructions, and template. Right here. It will be in the form of 22 that will compound to 44 that will compound to 88. Shit. Because that whole process is through the 22, you go from, from immature sun into sonship. You then transfer into the mature walk of daughter, who would then mature as mother. That's the 44. The matured mother is the 44. That would be the representation of Yeshua. And he rose, compounding it to the 88. Because they're all compounded numbers. 22, 44, 88. Yeah. So your full light body will be the representation of the twin temples coming together as one again. The 88. Odd out. You're everything and nothing. Completed circles. That interact. Right? Perpetuity, infinity, whatever you want to define it is, but you're the full you're the full representation of of I think it's more than just what we're being shown, like the temples are mother and father but mother and father is already within us we just have to find out the dualistic nature of becoming singular as one but yet still separated in pieces for the sake of experiencing each other correctly twins are within it's a complicated thing to explain because you got to it's not you removing the personal out of the journey because we can't lose the process of the journey of just the unique journey right because there's still those emotions love and the feelings because that's all part of the frequency but yet we don't want to say frequency for the sake of being cold and contrast you know we're just going through it unfeeling that's not what it's about mm -hmm. we're supposed to go through this is what mother teaches us she teaches us how to be empathic she teaches us how to nurture partner with the world because the template of world is mother. Mother's in us. We are world. We are of the dust of mother. It's in our veins. So it unpacks pretty quick. And then as you go through scripture, you see the journey of the priesthood, right? Because the priesthood is the same thing. It's the full representation of the completed frequency. It's just explained out a little in finer detail. And you really can't go just to fully to see better sheet for the essence of what Bereshit is without really journeying through the experience of what's being said. So you can't just look at the word and say, oh, it's this, because that would be the all-knowing, all-seeing eye. You have to go into the experience to extract out the definitions of feeling what's in your heart to then come back to look at the intention in one word. But the only way you can do that, unless you have all-knowing, you just defeated the purpose. So you, you're stripped of that because you've gone through the veil of, of forgetting to then zakaria to remember the way of mother, zakaria, 
And then you remember the pieces to put them back together to build the temple. It's just explaining it. Well, it's not just explaining it because it's more than explaining. That's just the hearing. It has to be the doing. And the only way that you do directly connects to the experience of what you're seeing. Exactly what you're doing. By absorbing the frequency of the word's intention, you then align yourself to the calibre or calibrate yourself to that exact frequency and intention. Mm-hmm. That's the purpose of what you're doing. Yeah. I do not know too many people that break down schematically like you are doing to extract out you know organically it's it's very difficult it's tedious that's why it's a looming journey because you're in gathering the fractals of intention light for the purpose of being a filled up light vessel and that's just that's just time that's why we have time so it's painstakingly difficult while we're distracted that's why we remove distraction but It's difficult when the world is partnered with something other than the intention and it makes it, you know, difficult to see through to find that intention again. Without that component, you we wander. We we don't we lose ourselves because we're not realizing that friction is purpose to produce the condensed version of it of self, right? That's why we bring through time we, we find ourselves again. But the good news for you is, is and, and for myself is that that we were able to put our finger on 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 a resonating frequency define it as 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 a as a structure and then extract out purpose and then realize you can't fast forward this you can't rush it along you recognize it and then you partner with patience for the purposed intention. So anyone that says like, oh, there it is, and uh, like that's the difference between reading it and building it. You're building it. So I incur- I'm telling you, you're building it the right way. You're extracting out to know the intention in, in you, and therefore it, it resonates through you, versus just like, oh, someone told me, and then it must be. Mm-hmm. No, it doesn't work that way, I'm afraid. I mean, there is residues on it, but not the full potential. You only get the full potential through the full extraction. And that's not it. So, thank goodness that we found the purpose of Mother in the Temple of the Family, that, and her directive and her mandate, and what that is, is to create the vessels of intention, aka the temples.